All right. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Wherever you may be. Uh, very short video. I'm gonna keep it simple. Uh, I need to get a better background. Uh, there we go. So I'm a crazy basement dweller. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm not. But very close to being that. Uh, but what a crazy basement dweller can actually do, which is useful for society, is read really old texts that nobody needs. Uh, except, obviously, a lot of people, without even knowing that they need this stuff. Uh, we have some kind of background uh, on the screen that is supposed to be a symbol of oriental texts. Now, one thing that I haven't really mentioned in... Uh, the videos of this channel, which are mostly dedicated to Arabic poetry, is that Arabic poetry belongs to a wider range of studies of Arabic literature, uh, and that belongs to a wider range of, range of studies of Islamic texts, right? Or from the Western point of view, the Oriental texts, right? The Oriental Islamic texts. Now, uh, this is something very important, right? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, maybe maybe I've said that nobody needs this, uh, in terms of what is, you know, politically uh, relative today in terms of what is trendy in terms of what is on Instagram. But when it comes to really preserving a whole culture and a whole tradition in, for example, my country Bosnia, or another country that might not be as familiar with it but wants to investigate it, the Arabic literature. Uh, this is huge. This is some huge stuff, uh, this kind of science. So I want to proudly say that I got my hands onto a copy of a oriental text that I can't really show fully. Uh, I think that you can't see it from, the, from, from, your, from your point of view there. But this is like a manuscript copy. And I just like to begin my really amateur level one <laughs> engagement with this with a blast by posting this on YouTube. So this is my reading of a manuscript that I'm meeting for the first time uh, and interpretation of it. Hope you enjoy. This is from Mullah Ali Qari, but it was uh, actually I think this is like a sharh a uh, interpretation and understanding of the poetry of uh, Mullah Ali Qari. So as I said, I'm a beginner, a rookie in this. My understanding is going to be limited, but here we go. Ala waqf al khisal nasbu qahri ali al timran yamut al makhluqat al makhluqat min jihat al jalaliyati thumma yahusuhum tajallal تجلي الجمالية فسبحان من قهر العباد بالموت قال الله تعالى كل نفس دائقة الموت وكل من من عليها فان وكل شيء هالك إلا وجهه إلا ما استثناه كالحور العين وغيرهن عند بعض أهل السنة كما في حنيفة ومزيبع I don't know this one. Wafi Badin Nusah. Wafi Badin. And Nah. Nope, this is really hard to read from this perspective. Really hard to read this one. Tarab. Tarran. Yadullu Kahran. Fahua. Halu. Jamiyan Inda. Okay, so let's translate this. So, ala waqf al khisal to stop at the. Okay, this was a previous sentence, right? So I need more context, but I don't have the copy for them from the previous page. Nasbu nasab al qahra nasab al qahran. So a type of overpowering was a proportioned ala. Atimira, Atimrar, Atimraya. I don't know how to read this one. Uh, but anyways, it might mean, 
you meet to makhluqat okay so it's something about giving death to to created things min jihatul jalaliyah from the aspect of majesty thumma yuhyihim right of let me um, amend myself he god is going to resurrect them tajalla tajalliya jamaliya to to manifest his beauty right so you have beauty and majesty in islamic metaphysics fa subhana man qahhar al ibad so glory be to the one who has subdued his slaves bil maut with the manifestation of death with death qala allah ta'ala the almighty god has said kullu nafsin da'iqatul maut every soul shall taste death wa kullu man alayha fan this is in the quran <coughs> so ba'da wa bilam shtan rajim wa bismillahir rahmanir rahim wa kullu man alayha fan and whoever is upon it meaning the earth is going to disappear wa kullu shay'in halikun illa wajha and every single thing is going to disappear except for his face for his being illa ma stathnahu kal hur al ain except for those that he has exempted from this such as the hur al ain very interesting that this is given as an example وَغَيْرِهِنَّ and other than them, other than the Hurul Ain, right? Other than the paradisical maidens in Islamic uh, metaphysics. عِنْدَ بَعْضِ أَهْلِ السُنَّةِ كَمَا فِي حَنِيفَةً I think uh, which is understood among some of the people of the Sunnah, right? As is transmitted by Hanifa. وَمُسْتَبِعَ I don't know what it says here. I need to read this really thoroughly Muntabai I don't know yeah now nah, I can't I can't get this word it's really unclear in the in the in the in the manuscript really really unclear in the manuscript but I don't want you guys to see it because this is like protected property basically well the body and no has a no have I don't know Tara Taran not sure but i think tar tar is like to 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 put something away right tarun yadullu kahran it indicates so basically uh all of this that the ulama some of the ulama believe is going to occur right god is going to make everything disappear before the day of judgment except hawru ain some other things like the malaika and all of that um Certain Malaika, right? Jibreel, Mikael, Malakul Maut. Yadullu Qahran, Fahuwa Halun Jami'an Indan Nafkhatil Ola. This is implied in the first state of the first blowing of the trumpet. So Maj Yuhyihim Jami'an, and then he's going to resurrect all of them. Indan Nafkhatil Thaniya. Uh, he's going to God is going to resurrect all things uh, that have died at the second blowing into the trumpet. Wama uh, and then it says Wama baynahuma arba'una yawman, and what is between them is forty days. Yaqulu Subhanahu liman al yawm. He's glory be to him is going to say, to whom does the dominion belong today? And then it says something that I really don't want to make a mistake in reading. I don't know. With the essence of God. The one, the overwhelming. And in this verse we find, so this is an interpretation of a verse, right? All of this that I've been reading. Uh, in the bait, in the verse, we find a proof, a indication to the bath, to the resurrection lil hashr, uh, for the gathering one nashr and the and the emerging, wal bil amal, wal bil amal, and the rewards for the good deeds ala hasb al ahwal, based uh, judged upon the upon the upon the inner states. لِقَوْلِهِ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ يَصْدُرُ النَّاسُ أَشْتَاتًا يُرَوْ أَعْمَالَهُمْ And this is understood because of his words 
Yawm Aidin on that day, on the day of judgment, the people are going to spread to be shown their deeds. And so whoever does a atom's worth of, of uh, worth of good is going to see it. And whoever does an atom's worth of evil shall see it. And for the people of paradise there are levels, degrees, uh, or rather, yeah, levels. Uh, and for the people of, 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 of the fire there are degrees, right? Because he differentiates here, right? Darajat for the Ahlul Jannah and Darakat for the Ahlul Nar. For the Darakat is the word that's used for the people of fire. So I don't know which one is better as a translation in English. وَالْمُرَادُ مِنَ الْخَلْقِ هُنَا الْحَيَوَانَاتِ And what is intended here uh, among the created creatures are the animals. وَلَلْ and not الْمَحْمَادَاتِ الْحَمَادَاتِ الْحَمَادَاتِ الْجَمْ No, I don't know this one. Walbanatat and the the floral world, right? The the, the uh, so he says something, and then he says the the word the world of the plants. Fa inna Allah yabathu man fil qubur because God is going to resurrect whoever is in the graves. Waman fi ajwa fil wuhush wahawasil tuyur and whoever is in the in the in the depths. Of the al uh, wuhush of the lost lands, or or rather the uh, whoever is in the in the in the stomachs of the wild animals, right? Wahawasil tuyur and carried by birds. Bian yajma akhra akhra bahum al asliya or adz uh, adz uh, sorry adzanahum adz and there's like a spot here from uh, ink, right? At this point of the manuscript, al asliya. So basically, whoever is in these, like whoever's whoever's remains are scattered in the birds, you know, like stomachs, right, from them eating at the graves or whatever. Uh, he's going to gather these like fundamental, primordial materials. Right. And <clears throat> after he has Iada, right? He has returned them into the Freemanniha Bil Kuliya in their in their ipsayati in, in their essence completely. Bi'ainiha, right? With with its totality. Wayajma wa akhrabahum and he's going to gather their remains, wa yu'idul arwaha ilayha, and he's going to return the souls in them. Bin nafhatitanya with the second blowing, وَهَذَا هُوَ الْبَعْثِ and, ha, and this, the second blowing, is the resurrection, it, it is the rising, right? وَالنَّثْرِ وَالنَّشْرِ, sorry. And the, and the, and the you know, the, <coughs> sorry, it is the resurrection and the rising. ثُمَّ يَسُوقُهُمْ إِلَى الْمَوْقِفِ And then he's going to drive them to the place, right, to the standing. وَهَذَا هُوَ الْحَشْرُ And this is the, Gathering the assembly, وَقَدْ قَالَ تَعَالَى ثُمَّ أَيْ إِنَّكُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ تُبَعَثُونَ And then on the day of judgment, on the day of resurrection, you are going to be raised up. وَقَالَ <coughs> جَزَاءً بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ As a reward for what they used to do. And then it finishes this page, وَعَنِ ابْنِ عَبَّاسٍ Something, something, lots of ink. من Min Majnud. I don't know. I've looked into this one a couple of times, so I'm just going to skip it. Anyways, that was how to get a manuscript, read it in Arabic, and translate it, demonstrate it live. This is what Orientologists do. This is what Oriental Studies students at the highest. 
years of their uh, at the final years of their study do and uh, what basically researchers in this field do now one of the things that I wanted to do in my life was this so I just wanted to mark my first reading which was my own right not at class not at whatever but something that I took from from a library as a copy and uh, read it uh, so reading is one thing and then understanding is another another but to keep it simple I think that this text is basically an interpretation of a poem and it speaks about uh, details about the day of judgment and how we're going to see our good deeds and our, and our bad deeds but if you go further into the manuscript it speaks about philosophy like how some of these ayat some of these like verses of the Quran they point to certain truths like that God knows the specifics and the generals and God knows everything basically and that uh, you know there are differences between them right and that they exist these differences so it's a really interconnected metaphysical text and it's really interesting to read these kind of ma manuscripts so yeah I hope somebody enjoyed this uh, session uh, that was very short I, I think might have been a bit longer than I thought but uh, I hope somebody that is interested in this kind of material has enjoyed please forgive me for looking awful I was sick for two weeks but I am uh, cured now so alhamdulillah I can keep doing my uh, stuff and yeah make sure to subscribe to the channel man support the work that I do thank you take care see ya people assalamu alaikum